it's your girl T and I want to shout out C Gilliard. Um, she has sent this request. I've gotten this request from a lot of people, but she was the first one to send it to me. Um, if you guys have not heard, there's a 16-year-old girl named Kira Wilmot, and she's from ratchet-ass Florida. Where else? <laughs> and basically what's going on is that this girl was working on a science experiment. She had mixed a bunch of chemicals together in a water bottle, and it ended up exploding on school property. Basically, it was a mistake. And the school not only expelled her, but she's also being charged with not one, but two felonies. So this is causing outrage across the internet. A lot of people are really, really upset. This girl is a good student, has never been in trouble, and even the principal is siding with her, but the school district and the police officers still want to charge her. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. A teenager is making headlines at Bartow High School after she was arrested, accused of blowing up a water bottle at school. Now, no one was hurt, but the teenager now faces adult felony charges. 10 News reporter Melanie Michael is live at Bartow High School with more on what happened, Mel. It all started with a water bottle, just like this one, and a teenager's curiosity. You know, this young woman has never been in trouble before, and her friends tell me tonight this was simply a science project gone wrong. It was the last thing anyone expected from 16-year-old Kiara Wilmot, friends say, that she would be arrested and expelled from Bartow High School for allegedly blowing up a small water bottle with household chemicals on school property. I don't think she was trying to hurt anybody. She's just like... I don't, I'm not sure what she was trying to do, but I don't think she's trying to hurt anybody. She's not that type of person. She just wanted to see what would happen, and I think it shocked her that because she was very honest with us when we were out there talking. I think it, I think it kind of shocked her that uh, it did that. The school principal tells 10 News that the 16-year-old has an exemplary record and is a good student. So why would she, according to police, mix chemicals in a bottle so it would explode right before school on Monday morning? The principal says it wasn't malicious, that it could have been some sort of a science project or just curiosity. She's a good kid, and, uh, you know, she made a bad choice and stuff. And, uh, like I said, I don't think it, she was not trying to be malicious to harm anybody or destroy something at school or anything else. Yeah, I don't think she's trying to hurt anybody, though. You said her sister, her twin sister, is in your class, correct? What did her sister say? Um, her sister was really upset. Um, somebody kind of mentioned it to see how her sister was doing, and she got upset and ran out crying. Kiara has been expelled and will continue her education in an expulsion program, according to the district. The teen was arrested and charged with possession and discharge of a weapon on school grounds and discharging a destructive device. Students who heard the news say they were shocked, but they tell us she's a nice girl. I heard it was a science project. That maybe she didn't intend to do this? Yeah. It wasn't something like she was actually trying to blow some, blow everybody up. It was just like, a, she said a science project gone bad. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip. And the thing that bothers me about this whole situation is, is it's just been blown way out of proportion. You gotta be kidding me. Why would y'all expel this girl because she put some chemicals in a bottle and it ended up exploding? She made a mistake. You make mistakes and you learn from them. That's part of being a kid. No one was hurt, but now you want to ruin her future by giving her a felony over a failed science experiment? I just find this whole thing ridiculous. So what, what are we going to do now? Are we Are going to start arresting kids for passing gas in class? It's like these kids can't do shit. But then you have kids like that girl in Cali, the Mexican girl who, you know, who stepped to her teacher and who fought her teacher. She was only suspended for five days. But then you have a girl who makes an innocent mistake in science class and they want to expel her? I don't understand this. This is just ridiculous to me. I, I feel like they need to drop the charges, let her come back to school. She shouldn't have to go to a school for expelled children. Those type of expelled schools are for children with behavioral problems. Children who fight constantly, who've been caught selling drugs at school. Why should she have to go to school with a bunch of kids who are technically bad kids? She's not a bad kid. She made a mistake. Why is she being punished so severely? So I just think the whole situation is just uncalled for. They're definitely overreacting. Um, there's a petition on change.org, and I signed it myself. I would like for you guys to go on there and sign the petition. There's no reason for this girl to be expelled. There's definitely no reason for her to be charged with a felony. A felony is something that will follow this child the rest of her life. 
And that is unfair. She didn't kill anybody. She didn't molest anybody's baby. She didn't shoot anyone. So what the hell is the problem? She didn't bring a gun to school. It was a mistake. We've all made stupid childhood mistakes. If that was the case, we would all be charged with felonies. We'd probably all be doing life in prison from childhood mistakes. I think the police need to calm the fuck down and go look for some real criminals. Ford, I'm going to need y'all to stop being so ratchet. Y'all got all types of criminals out here eating people and killing people and acting crazy. Go after them. Leave this 16-year-old girl alone. Let her go back to school and finish her education and allow her to graduate with her class on time. This is just not needed. I'm just, I'm really sick of this. I'm tired of the good kids being punished. She was honest about what she did. She admitted to it, and then we punish her. But then these fucking ratchet kids who want to sit here and fight the teacher and show no remorse, you know, who are beyond reproach, nothing happens to them. They just get a five-day suspension. I just find this whole situation really damn ridiculous. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. And I'm also going to post a link down below for her change.org petition. Make sure you guys go ahead and sign it. We need to get this girl back in school. Um, she's a straight-A student. She is doing what we preach about on YouTube. This is what we want to see 16-year-olds doing. This is what we want to see 16-year-olds accomplishing, being straight-A students. We don't want to see 16-year-olds applying to be on Teen Mom. So I say we should all rally behind her because she is trying to do the right thing. All right. Deuces.